Hey gang, stomp in the kitchen. We're having a, my Sunday dinner today, or our Sunday dinner. I've had a few videos of uh, chicken livers. It's hard to get good chicken livers around here. There's a couple places that got some decent ones, so anyway, so Mrs. Stump has made some chicken livers and onions for me to try. And uh, that's one reason I'm doing video, let y'all know how good they are. Okay. Or not. So I got some chicken livers and onions, which she doesn't eat, by the way. Got some boiled taters. Some tachini green peas, right? And some uh, coleslaw, broccoli coleslaw. It all looks good. Did you see what the chicken livers look good? They, they taste, hopefully it's gonna taste good. If I don't, I'll be having a vegetable dinner. I originally bought these to feed stump ass down here because their dogs are getting expensive, but there's some left over, so we'll see. Hmm. I bite pretty good. And I do like some good chicken livers. They're hard to find in this area. But when I do find them, I will buy them because the chicken livers are very good. So far, so good. Actually, thought she was cooking some beef liver and onions, but that'd be coming in the future. It's a chain brand peas are sold at Food Lion. They're actually pretty good. Fifty-six cent a can. Not bad. Speaking of NASCAR, y'all NASCAR fans. What y'all think of Joey Logano bumping away and Byron out of the way last week? Me personally, I'm all for it. The older NASCAR fans, you remember Jimmy Spencer, when he used to race, if you ran into him, you can, look, you can be guaranteed he's going to take you out more than once. Wait, it should be. That's just my opinion, of course. But you got so many young drivers coming in pushing these old people out. Of course, Joey Logano ain't old, he's 31. But he's been racing for, I don't know, 11 years. Been around a long time, but got, got a lot of young ones think they can just come in and move you out of the way. It's actually pretty good. Mrs. Dude's a Mrs. Dude. Mrs. Stump's a good cook anyway. 
but she doesn't cook just that often, so kind of an experiment. <laughs> I knew what, but what? Dollar and something for that pack? Two dollars? Dollar seventy nine. Dollar seventy nine for a pack of chicken liver. That's bowling on it going on the TV. Kyle Troop, Bowling, Tommy Jones, whoever wins this match is going to win $100,000. Yeah, that's a good one. That's not bad. This makes a good Sunday dinner. I mean, I always think about having this. That's pretty good. Mickey Mouse on top of my head watching me eat. Bought this at a garden sale recently. Well, let me finish my dinner here and we'll be back in a minute with some dessert. I see she made something special for dessert, so be back in a second. Well, I just finished my just finished my Sunday dinner of chicken livers, which were good, green peas, uh, taters, and some broccoli salad. Now I have this nice looking cake that she made. I think I can eat it all. She bought these new little cake pans and wanted to try them out. So it's, what kind of icing is that? Cream cheese. Cream cheese icing on a vanilla cake. Vanilla cake. I bet y'all wish y'all had some of this. I could use my hand and eat it, but since I'm trying to be prim and proper, I'll eat it this way. Hmm. That's pretty good. Good dessert, kind of big, but. And Kyle Troop won the bowling I was watching, so he's a hundred thousand dollar record. He's from Taylorsville, North Carolina. Pay no attention to that phone ringing, because I'm not. A little Dr. Pepper commercials on. Y'all seen that little Dr. Pepper where that little two inch man comes out? Ah, Dr. Sir, Dr. Pepper. First thing, first thing. Ooh. That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Man, he ain't about this big. I don't know what tribe he's from. Straight, not straight, whatever. He 
and to me, knock pepper don't taste as good as it used to. They, every time I buy one, it's like it has a burnt flavor. So. Pretty good. Yeah. All right. My back's getting better. Just in time for me to go bowling tomorrow and make it worse. But I gotta be there, so. Speaking of tomato plants, we planted a few outside. Hopefully, we can get some good tomatoes. Probably gonna plant some more. What kind of tomatoes was in? Remember? Cherry and heirloom. Cherry tomatoes. And heirloom. And heirloom. Heirloom. Huh? Heirloom. How you spell it? Heirloom, not hair. Heirloom. Airlines, A I R. No, H E I R. H H E Y, wouldn't that be hair? No. Hairlines. No, I didn't say H A, I said H E. No, the H is supposed to be silent. Yeah, in this position. Well, this is America, so we pronounce our Hairlands. Hopefully, that'll turn out to be pretty good. I forgot some cucumbers. And planting some cucumbers. What kind of name? It's cucumber. American. Mm -hmm. It's a good dessert. Wash it down with something with some famous tea. Ah. I don't have no microphone up rubber around my throat up here so you can hear me eat so I'll imitate some of them people on YouTube so you can hear me eat just about a cake. That's three places the microphone I have. Well till next video. Uh, be sure and subscribe, hit the like button. I crossed the 200 uh, view, uh, uh, subscribers, so I need 798 more. Tell your friends to look me up, subscribe, ain't gonna kill them. They can subscribe once and never watch another one. But anyway, until the next video, as the Jersey cow said, giving milk. Mm -hmm. Bye bye.